If you're looking for thousands of altcoins, leverage trading, and no KYC, those are just some of the things that BideFi offers as a crypto exchange. So in today's BideFi tutorial, you'll learn everything from how to buy and sell crypto, open long and short positions, and a complete step-by-step -step walkthrough that we're gonna go through. To follow today's tutorial, you will need a BideFi account. So there's a link in the description where I've secured you a 5% discount on your trading fees and thousands of dollars of potential bonuses just for being a new user with my link if you click that down below. So let's jump right into the video. There's a few main reasons that I recommend BideFi. As you can see, if we go through all the exchanges that I've been comparing and select BideFi, number one is they offer 600 plus coins and hundreds of crypto futures. Number two, BideFi has very competitive trading fees. So if we go from fees top to bottom, most platforms offer 0.1% trading fees. BideFi has that and it's also competitive with the futures fees. The third thing BideFi offers is advanced trading tools which includes you know just spot trading and then you also have derivatives and they just introduced advanced trading bots as well fourth reason people like this exchange is it has no KYC requirements as you can see here I'm unverified I've been using this platform for a few years now and have never had any issues with an unverified account and reason number five is they just launched a proof of reserves as well which definitely improves their transparency and security to show you their security real quick BideFi has over a million users, a new proof of reserves, cold storage, and they've never had any hacks or incidents since they've been founded, which is a good sign, not like many other exchanges, and they're operating out of Singapore. Now, every exchange has downsides. So the downsides for BideFi are, number one, it has lower trading volume for spot. You can see the futures volume is pretty high, but if we go to spot, search BideFi, only 300 million. So just look out for that if you're trading smaller altcoins. Second downside for BideFi is you won't find any fiat trading pairs. Everything is in USDT and there's some USDC pairs. Now you can buy crypto with fiat, but these are expensive and require KYC. And the third downside is BideFi is harder for beginners. Now, if that's not for you and you want to compare more crypto exchanges, you can visit rankfi.com and check out these free tools to find the perfect exchange for you. Now, if you want a simple platform like Coinbase, BideFi is not for you. But if you want a no KYC platform that's easy to sign up for, lets you access lots of coins and advanced features, BideFi is for you. You get all around low fees, 600 plus cryptos, and lots of advanced features if you want to go long or short trade leverage, or even set up sophisticated trading bots. With that out of the way, let's jump into the tutorial. So you'll need a BideFi account to follow the rest of this tutorial. There's a URL below, and that will take you to a page that looks like this. If you wanna maximize your profits, enter this promo code to get a lifetime discount on your trading fees, plus up to thousands of dollars in potential bonuses, which can be claimed by going through this rewards page in your BideFi account. Now, after you've opened your account and you're logged in, it's gonna look something like this. So if you go here, click identity verification, you can see my account is unverified. I've never had KYC on this platform and I've withdrawn funds many times. And you can see my withdrawal limit is 50,000 USDT as of this recording. So step two, which is optional, is the KYC on this platform. But again, that is optional. And that's only if you want to access other features like the fiat purchases, which I don't recommend. I recommend depositing crypto on the platform anyways to because then you'll just save money on fees. Now, keep in mind, BideFi is no KYC, but according to their terms of service, they are restricted in a few countries and those countries are on the screen right now. It's only these countries and BideFi is supported in over 190 countries. So if you're in the USA, Canada, and most places, you should be able to use BideFi just fine. Now to find your account dashboard, just click this wallet icon and go to overview. So the main things you need to know, I won't go through everything. I'll show you the important stuff is you have your assets here. So these are the different account types. So by default, all of your money will go into the spot account. That's where you can just buy cryptocurrencies, just simply buy and sell cryptos. If you want to do advanced stuff like futures trading, the derivatives here, here. That's your USDTM and CoinM accounts. So you'd have to transfer funds into those accounts because BideFi separates it like most exchanges. Then you have your deposit, withdraw, send and transfer buttons here. Now, if you're a new user, I recommend depositing through the rewards. That way you'll get the bonuses. Now, if you wanna transfer in between these accounts, like if you're gonna be trading with futures, click this transfer button, and then you can send money from your spot account to your other account. 
These are free internal transfers. You can also click this dashboard here to get even more info on your account. Now going over deposit and payment methods, click this dropdown, click deposit. Now USDT is the ideal cryptocurrency to deposit because that's what most of the trading pairs are in. But you can deposit any coin, you'll just have to trade it for USDT afterwards. So once you're on this page, just select the network. BideFi supports tons of coins and networks you can deposit with. Once you select the network, just generate your address, copy this and paste it into the wallet or exchange you're sending funds from. Make sure you send it on the same network. Be patient and the funds will show up pretty quickly depending on which network you send it with. If you get stuck at any point in this tutorial, feel free to leave a comment below this video. Now, if you wanna use the buy crypto feature, there is a few options. Remember, you do have to KYC and this does have higher fees, but you can see they offer all these different currencies that you can use here and you'll see the rate it gets you. It's not gonna let me do it because I do need KYC, but you can go through these options. There's a fiat deposit here, and if you scroll down, it'll show you the fees, which do get pretty high. And there's also a credit debit option, uh, which usually has the highest fees, as you can see here. So again, for that reason, the best option is to deposit crypto into your account. Then you can actually take advantage of the low fees BideFi offers you. Now, withdrawals are very similar. Click withdraw and make sure you have funds in your spot account. If you were trading futures or something and you're not seeing your balances, that's because your funds need to be in the spot account to withdraw. I have some USDC. Again, you can select many different networks. So if I wanna do Ethereum, I can paste an address just like that. And BideFi does have pretty low withdrawal limits unlike some other exchanges. So you can see it's 20 USD to withdraw. That's the minimum. And the fee is only $1.20 for the Ethereum network, which is very low. Always double, triple check your address and that's how you withdraw from the platform. As you can see, I had a recent withdrawal here and there was no issues for me. And again, they have a 50,000 USDT withdrawal limit every single day for non-verified accounts. So this is a pretty good no KYC platform. Now, the next thing we're gonna go over is the actual trading area and charting tools. So BideFi has a lot of trading pairs, as you can see here, and most of them are gonna be in USDT, which is why I recommend depositing that. Uh, they also have some USDC trading pairs and they have all types of tokens you can trade. I actually like their markets page here because you can see the hot coins, new listings, uh, you can see the futures here, and you can also go through like the opportunities. So there's some interesting metrics you can find here. They also launched MoonX, so you can trade thousands of other coins that aren't on the centralized exchange. Let me know if you want a tutorial on that. Here's the trading dashboard. BideFi looks like most other platforms. You have your trading view here, which you can switch between basic version, trading view, if you're used to that, all your technical analysis, indicators, here you have your order book, so all the recent trades going on, and then the order menu, which is where all the magic happens, where you can place limit orders, market orders, and so on. So I'm gonna to switch to something with USDC because that's what I have. So let's do Bitcoin here. And you can see I have an available balance, which shows here. Now, if you're a beginner, a market order is gonna be the easiest way to place a trade. So to do that, just click the market button here. And if you don't know, that's just gonna take the best available price from the buyers or sellers right here and it's gonna fill the order immediately. So if I wanna do 10 USDC for Bitcoin, click buy Bitcoin and that order will automatically go through just like that. And then you can see your order history right there. There's Bitcoin in my account. BideFi is also pretty good because it has very low order minimums. So I, I was able to buy just $10 worth. If you wanna sell, you just flip it around, sell the Bitcoin. Okay, so the limit is 10 USDC. So now I need to I would just need to buy a little more Bitcoin. So let's buy another 10 and then I'd be able to sell it. Now the other order type you can do is a limit order, which you just click on here. And this is where you can select your price based on your TA or whatever price you think it's gonna fill in at. Now Bitcoin has a lot of volume on this exchange, but if you're trading like some lesser known coins, especially altcoins that might have lower volume, you definitely wanna use a limit order instead of a market order to get better rates. And to place a limit order, you can Click the price from here, and as you can see, it's changing in the order menu. Or just enter what you want. Use the slider to put how much you wanna sell, and then click sell. And instead of filling immediately, it'll go into your open orders. And I actually wasn't even looking at what I was doing, so I think it filled right away. So yeah, it filled right away. I wasn't looking at what I was doing. But usually once you place your limit order, it'll go through here until it fills. Mine filled right away, and you can see it right here. It was successful. Now BideFi did also introduce trading bots. If you're into like advanced features like that, they did just add that and you can play around with that section around here. And that will automatically do trades for you based on parameters that you're setting up. 
Now let's say you want to trade with leverage. How do you do that on BuyFi? Well, you have to go to the derivatives section. So BuyFi has two types of derivatives. They have USDT collateral and coin collateral. So you can use USDT as collateral, or you can, if you have Bitcoin or ETH and you don't want to sell it, you can use the actual coin itself as collateral as well. So let's go to Bitcoin USDT. And like I mentioned earlier, you have to transfer funds into this account. So to do that, you can see there's this button here. You can click plus and you would just transfer from your spot to your futures account. The only coin you can transfer in is USDT. So if you have USDC or anything else, you have to trade it for USDT first. And here you select the leverage by just clicking this little button here. And it has, it has this slider so you can go up to 200x leverage on the platform. Obviously, the higher you go, the easier it is to get liquidated. So let me show you on a demo account how this works. You can set the leverage here up to 200x. We're going to set it at 10x. Click confirm. And you can see we have some demo funds available. Now with 10x leverage on a market order, you can see we can trade almost 100,000 worth of value. So if I want to do like, let's say 20% of my account, set a take profit stop loss. You can click the advanced here. I like to set it by, here we go, by ROI. So if the position goes up 5% or down 5%, let's say it'll automatically sell. So we have that set up and we're doing 20% of my position at 10X leverage. Click long, it'll give you an order confirmation and that's the estimated liquidation price, 49,000, which is 50% away from where we are currently. So if Bitcoin drops 50%, and I don't add more margin, this position will be fully liquidated. So let's say I like that, click confirm, and that's how it works. The position is open, which you can view down here. Now, if I change this to, let's just say 200X, which is a lot. <laughs> now we can see if I go all the way, I have way more funds I could play with, but if I do the same, like let's say around 20%, go long, you see the price gap is only about 10% now, so it's a lot easier to get liquidated the higher leverage you go and the more risk you take. If I go even higher, say 90%, the price only has to drop 2.38% for me to get liquidated. So that's why you have to be very careful when trading with leverage and always make sure to take set up take profit, stop loss, especially if you're leaving the trade open overnight or leaving your computer. Now other info you should look at is the funding rates. So these are the fees you'll be paying to keep your position open based on the countdown. So when this countdown goes to zero, either the shorts or the longs will pay a fee. Pay attention to the open interest and the volume. And now that we have a position open, you can also see it on the chart here and you can make adjustments to it here as well. And you can actually adjust this by just by moving it on the actual chart, which is kind of cool. You can also just put in a number here and then actually buy it from the chart. So it needs a minimum 100. Now, if you don't want to adjust things from the chart, you could do it the standard way through here, which is a little easier. So you have all your numbers here. Currently, we're down quite a bit in profit already. So if you want to close your position, that's this tab here. You could do a market close or a limit close. So I close 50%. That's automatically closed. If you want to adjust the take profit stop loss, you just do that here. And if I want to get out of the full position, just like that, very simple. And if you wanna get used to trading on this platform, that's what the demo account is for. Now, if I helped you at all in this video, please smash the like button. Now, you can compare BideFi versus every other crypto exchange using the comparison tool on rankfi.com. And here's another video YouTube thinks you're gonna like. I'll see you in the next one.